Very good evening everyone. I am Shilpa, moderator for this session. Today our topic of discussion is how to prepare physics for JE 2023. Further in this session only we will discuss important topics, PYQs and mocks attempt strategy and also we will discuss how to memorize important formulas and the difficult equations. And further at the end of this session we will discuss some do's and don'ts. As you can see, like uh, after maths, physics also has a very vast syllabus and there are multiple topics. It con consists of mechanics, it consists of electrodynamics and there are a lot number of chapters. You can easily find it, Google it and you can save. But right now I'll be focusing on the important chapters. What do I mean by important chapters? Chapters which carries higher weightage and also the chapter which carries lower weightage, but their chance of coming is very high. So I'll be discussing about those chapters. What are the chapters we can focus on for our April attempt basically. So I have prepared a list of uh, such chapters. Uh, such chapters are modern physics. You, if you see a January attempt paper, you'll find a lot of questions of modern physics in your attempt. Next, current electricity, an easy chapter, also a higher weightage topic. Next is semiconductor. Uh, it is a medium kind of topic like you have to give time in order to prepare it. It's not that easier, but it gives a good number of questions in paper. And next we come to electromagnetic waves. You just have to give two or three hours in order to prepare this chapter. This is very easy chapter of physics, even the easiest chapter of physics. And it do carries like every section, every paper will carry one question of this chapter. Next we have magnetic effect of current and magnetism. It is an important part of our electrodynamics. And like this is a one, one kind of compulsory chapter, like you have to do it. Okay, and questions do come from this chapters as well. Next, we have heat and thermodynamics. Like if I talk about thermodynamics, it is important for maze. Even it is also important for JE advanced. Also. So it is a must do kind of topic. Ray optics, as you must know that this is also an important topic. Was ray optics pe kya hota hai? Ki, wo, bhi hum hai aare, ray optics. And 11, 12, mein kya hota? just the concept bar jate, you just have to uh, use proper a kind of geometry and all to calculate the angle and all ways about it basically so it is an easier chapter but yeah you have to do it next we come to lesser important topics please write your question okay lesser important topics lesser important topics includes those topics which carries lower weightage but their chances of coming is also very high like heat transfer it is an easy chapter and also it's uh, one question basically come from this chapter as well laws of motion you know like if your base is not clear, like if you talk about physics, what happens with physics is you will understand the yeah, question is easy, but you will not understand the question. Karna kaise. Basically, you won't, you won't understand the approach and approach is very important for physics. So approach, upon kaise develop karenge, you have, you must be clear with your base and base of physics includes mechanics, Newton's law of motion, kinematics, vectors. So you must be good in all these chapters. And we'll also cover what are the things we have to focus on, like the tips basically to improve our concept basic and all. Now we have fluids. It is not an easy topic. Even you can skip this topic. I'm saying, agar tough lagta, skip kar do because higher weightage bhi nahi hai and it is a, a kind of tough topic. If I have included in this list because some some of some of the students find it easier. So for them, you can do it. Next, we have work for energy. It is easier chapter and even also a chapter that you must do because this is an important chapter for your concepts, basic part. Circular motion, units and dimension, units and dimension, you just have to give one hour to this topic and question may come, like one or two question may come in your paper. Next, we have center of mass and position. This is one of the most important topic of mechanics portion. Mechanics is the important topic mein hai because questions aate aase, like momentum conservation, find out the center of mass. So you have to do this chapter as well. So these are all the important chapters, higher weightage chapters that you have to do in your, uh, for your next level. Firstly, I'll talk about the tips. Uh, basically, I'm a student. This stuff physics is not good type. Pe. So mostly, kya hota the? paper, mein, I do get a good number in my maths because my maths is very good. Uh, I get around something 80 or 90 aa jate the maths but physics mein mere bahut kam aate the around 30 40 so basically i mera uh, first attempt ke baad like after january attempt what was my entire motivation was to improve my physics in order to get into iit 
so i entirely focused on improving physics so what are the things that i followed uh, for physics will be very helpful for you guys like if you are a student like me jiska physics utna acha nahi hai ya fir physics acha bhi hai what i'll say is you can follow a particular channel i'll recommend a channel named physics galaxy uh, i basically i'll prefer a series advanced illustration questions over there uska playlist mil jayega you will get the playlist and around 60 or 70 questions will be there from the entire all the chapters and you must be saying kuch bachche keh rahe honge ki why you are recommending an advanced illustration series because this session is mainly for mains but actually the thing is that even if we talk about mains and advanced also like what's the difference basically question ka level ka difference hai but the concepts are same you have to use the same concept there also and you have to use the same concept over there things are same but you uh, but the level or the difficulty changes that the so if your concepts are strong if your base is strong in maths physics chemistry you will definitely find an upper edge uh, if we com- uh, if we compare with the other students so i'll definitely say focus on the concepts your base is very important like uh, right now also you have one month but you can easily uh, do it in all these things like you can uh, do around 10 questions of each chapter from this playlist advanced illustration series you can do and if you do this question you will definitely be able to grip uh, get a good grip in your physics because yahan pe kya hota hai ki jo bhi questions hote hain na like let's take an example of a chapter uh, center of mass okay so center of mass ka agar particular koi question hai na there will be multiple questions multiple concept question like find the center of mass center of mass uh, momentum conservation and there also you can find angular momentum conservation question so basically three concepts are there in a single question so that will help you to build up your concept to build up your approach and that is very important in physics maths and chemistry whatsoever okay so this is an important tip from my side regarding physics and what are the what are the mistakes that we should avoid is basically the biggest mistake is the silly mistakes even if we know the answer even if we have calculated the answer rightly but what happens is at times jab apan laptop pe matlab pc pe जब टिक करने जाते हैं हम लोग गलत टिक कर देते हैं जस्ट बिकॉज वी आर इन हरी वी आर बेसिकली नर्वस पैनिक तो ये सब के कारण होता है हाउ टू मतलब करेक्ट इट वी कैन इजीली डू इट विथ पेपर पेपर अगर आप बार बार पेपर दोगे मॉक पेपर दोगे यू गिव द मॉक पेपर इन द सेम इन्वायरमेंट लाइक जैसा एग्जाम में इन्वायरमेंट होगा वही इन्वायरमेंट में अगर आप पेपर देते हो यूल गेट समेर एक्वाइंटेड विद द इन्वायरमेंट विद द पेपर अटेम्प्टिंग फ्लो एंड ऑल एवरी थिंग and with that you have to focus on paper analysis like uh, if today i made a mistake in my paper like i made a calculation mistake let's suppose i have made 2 into 3 as 4 so this is one of the biggest calculation mistake i have made 2 into 3 is equal to 4 so you have to remember every time whatever uh, whenever you go uh, go for a next paper that i have made a mistake 2 into 3 equals 4 so i won't repeat this mistake in my next paper for that you have to remember this mistake you have to remember your mistake for that you please make a copy whatever thing is that maybe you have a diary you can have a diary please write all your mistakes that you have done in your paper previous papers in this diary and so that if you go for a next paper you will see all these mistakes so that aap ye mistakes ko yaad karte jao and that is very important if you uh, use this paper analysis tip you will definitely find ki har paper mein you will get somewhere around 5 6 marks extra and this is very important tip and that is basically a mistake that you should avoid during the jee preparation so 30 days basically a question arises after hearing this bhaiya is 30 days enough for packing jee main second attempt and you will find a quite a ample number of videos in youtube 30 days by exam crack kar and lot more but what's the reality behind that you have to know it dekho 30 days mein packing jee means from the very basic that you even that you don't know anything like you, if you are a student who don't know anything who have started just right now 30 days mein jee is practically not possible i am seriously speaking jee is practically not possible if you have a little bit knowledge of ncert like foundation level class 11 12 ncert level then you can do it because ncert ka bhi agar knowledge hai na jee mains paper is more or less like ncert only like you get the entire paper from your ncert chemistry mostly everything is from ncert physics as well in physics portion and in math certain questions are there that is somewhere around like higher level ke questions hai but the entire paper is focused on ncert you know so if you have a basic foundation knowledge also and if you haven't prepared for jee till now you will be able to score somewhere around 30 40 marks minimum without doing anything but now in order to improve our marks to let's suppose 100 150 
you should know your target like if you want to score 150 how much marks should you have you should have to increase it like you have scored around somewhere around 100 marks in your first attempt january attempt and now in your second attempt your target is let's suppose 180 so you have to increase this 80 marks in the span of 30 days and up for increasing 80 marks 80 marks increasing uh, increment is not easy you know so what you have to do like right now i've covered the important chapters of physics to focus on those important chapters like check whether you have completed all those important chapters or not your first step should be that secondly what we have to do is like you have to do mock papers as well like testing you is very important like if you not test you like what the result you are getting and ultimately the paper ke din hi paper dene ja rahe ho, you will feel ki yaar, paper de dena chahiye. because yaar, agar if you have attempted january attempt you will realize ki yaar, mostly jo paper hai na, if you have attempted a lot number of mock papers before you will definitely find yaar, ki hum se to and the last most, most important thing is EYQs. Like if you talk about materials, okay, bhai, aapne sab kuch bata diya, but materials, kya karta hai? what are the materials we have to follow? Do we have to follow a book or any test series or any what? So basically, materials, mein I'll tell for the last 30 days, you don't have enough time to so just follow PYQs. If you have attempted your January attempt, you must have known this like Pura paper PYQ based. Last five years, if you just check last five years PYQ you will definitely be able to do a lot of questions in April attempt as well. So my entire uh, basically sum summary is that do all the important chapters firstly. Then if you get time, then focus on the rest, uh, lower weightage topics. And then you have to do mock papers as well. What should be the frequency of mock papers? Like for the first 15 days, you should attempt like somewhere around five mock tests. And for the rest 15 days, start attempting mock tests in an alternate day, uh, days basis. And don't attempt any mock test before three or four days of your exam. You should entirely focus on revision of short notes before it and start making short notes. If you haven't made any short notes till now, start making short notes because you won't be able to revise entire syllabus just three days or two days before your paper. For that time, yeah, for that time, basically we'll require our short notes. Okay, that is all. Even I do consider it like J and both together is very difficult. Even I have done my schooling from a uh, basically a non-schooling type. So I am not much acquainted with all these things. Ki how can I be uh, balance both and J together? But like I have taken a multiple session from uh, very talented students, like from IITs and all. And from that experience, I can say that boards pe na, you just have to give around like particularly this time. Abhi aapke boards exam chal rahe. So particularly this time for those who are appearing 12 right now, uh, 2023 mein, I'll recommend we give at least, uh, give uh, at the most four or five hours to both and rest time to J. If, even if you give four to five hours, like uh, what I'll say about myself is that I did my board preparation in the last 20 days and I got 94.5%. And you know, like 94.5% from me, okay? just 20 days preparation because I have done my entire 11-12 preparation in a very good level. So that's the motivation behind getting 94.5%. What I needed to uh, do was English and the optional subject. Uh, I took physical education as an optional subject. So basically, if you just do around 5 hours study every day, self-study for your board, you will be able to do it very easily. If you, are, if you have done your JE preparation in a good level till now. So what happens is like, basically we were aware of this only MCQ paper. Right now, NTA has introduced this all sort of integer type of questions. So how to attempt all those questions? Start attempting from the uh, section A that is MCQ type questions. And what should be the flow? Like if you are attempting a paper in your uh, paper, like actual paper, if you are attempting your paper, uh, like agar pehla question nahi ban hai, then you'll go, go to the next question. Second question, then you'll go to the next third question. But third, you will find yourself here. And ultimately, you will start taking panic and ultimately put a paper. So, what should be the flow? Like, if you're starting from section A, first three questions, then move on to the section B. Or you can do is start attempting questions from the very end of the section A and then start process, uh, progressing. You will find that somewhere, if you even if you like start doing one two question, you will get motivation. Yeah, question is easy question hai, chalo aage karte. 
and yaar je mains ka paper you have seen january attempt paper it's not that difficult even january attempt je mains 2023 paper is considered to be the easiest paper of je mains so uh, even april attempt mein if i talk about april attempt paper level difficulty it will be almost same like january attempt paper easy hi aayega and like mcq also mcq to bhai tension nahi hai नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इंटीजर सेक्शन इंटीजर पे मोस्टली बच्चों को दिक्कत आती है बिकॉज एन टी ए ने लाइक बहुत लास्ट में ही इंट्रोड्यूस किया ये पेपर पैटर्न बेसिकली एंड वट हैपन्स इज इंटीजर में बच्चों को कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आता है कि अब ये सही होगा या नहीं होगा फॉर दैट यू हैव टू डू प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन यूल गेट सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन इन यू पी वाई क्यूज एज वेल इन यूर बुक्स एज वेल वट एवर बुक्स यू आर फॉलोइंग इन योर कोचिंग मेटीरियल एज वेल स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिस इन इट लाइक यू शुड फोकस मोर ऑन सॉलिंग दिस subjective type of questions as well and practice is the only key to that don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel